uh, I hope in the last two sections uh, we uh, at least have a little bit of intuition about R, what it is, what it is used for, or or, or what it could be used for. Uh, but to really get to know this environment, uh, you have to know uh, a lot of people. A lot of people ask, "Is it a good? Is it a good uh, language? Is it a good programming environment? Is it a good platform for my project?" Um, but I think the the key to answer this question is that what this program is used for. And uh, in this section, the the probably the most significant part is that you see uh, what what this uh, what this program is capable of, or the most capable of, or it could be uh, used for with some of the packages. And what what is the uh, inventors? What is the developers trying to uh, trying to show us about how to solve things with this with, with algorithm with R and the some relevant properties about that. So, uh, like any programming languages, it has its data types. It has its syntax and um, uh, has its uh, kind of grammar in use. But also as a scientific, uh, like programming, uh, scientific calculation language, and also a statistic language, and you could use it as a graphic calculator. It has some very unique things, and uh, uh, let's just start with the data types. So, if you name single things like a equals one, that's just a integer, and you could also get class of a numeric, so it's a numeric vector. Well, you could do it with uh, integer or like a. Let's just go a as integer a, and by doing this, and actually a lot of a lot of functions are it's named by s dot something. The s dot of something is transferring the one of the uh, transferring a variable from one data type to to the other data type. Now uh, we have a is one, and uh, class a class. A is an integer, and uh, mode. There are lots of things, different thing. And mode A is numeric, and uh, you could do a summary. A summary is a kind of uh, what we uh, probably str. It's a uh, integer. It's just just one of the region of one integer, and actually. It's str str is something that returns the structure of the data and uh, something else about data is uh, this structure a it's a slightly different thing um, but you don't have to worry about that because and uh, let's just start with uh, this is a single uh, numeric variable now uh, like C and uh, lots of C types programming language uh, the variables in R are basically uh, stored as a vector. So to get a vector, you could go. Let's just name it B equals to C bracket. Now, uh, the C might be a bit confusing there, but uh, it's what it essentially do is just combine things. You could go C equals uh, a list of numbers. What do I do there? I put in n a if uh, if there's a missing value. You could also go uh, and uh, for ten to the power of something, you could go uh, so like thirteen times thirteen e two, which is stand for thirteen times ten to the power of four, and then uh, ten to the power of two, and you get b. Now you see this one three zero zero it automatically recognizes it, and this n a, and we get a vector. Now if but if I go class A, uh, sorry, class B, it's a numeric, numeric vector, and uh, mode B, numeric. Now this in A states that there's 
there is no value here and uh, uh, that's a little bit of different from NA is a diff it's different from not applicable uh, applicable is different from uh, not a number or null because uh, let's just start with uh, we call name C here uh, we we should avoid C most of the times but because it's a uh, because it's the name of the function and uh, well sometimes you put C uh, sometimes you put C equals to something it doesn't matter but it's it's be it's a lot better to avoid it all right there but if you get capital letter C because R is case sensitive you could avoid the variables being uh, having the same name here you could go no now what should I do here uh, we get length of capital letter C and it's zero we put C and there's actually no elements no elements but if I go C is NI this is different length now this length C is one. So now there's uh, no and and a. Here's the difference. Uh, N a is usually what we use in the data frame or something to state a missing value here. There is a value, but it's a missing. And no is something we state as. Just, just nothing like like his lit literature uh, name of no. Okay, now uh, uh, let's we are after the vector vector. Okay, this is a this is a vector vector is a is a list of number arranged in the same some way, but. There are other, there are also other type of vectors, like I named D. You see, now I use. Uh, now I'm using this uh, quote quotation mark to indicate this is a string. Vector. Now, uh, if I go D something, it will turn the this value here. And even if we should avoid E because E is was well, actually is there any E? Nope. So we, it's safe to define E. So E equals to something. Now E is something that have a quotation mark but it's actually numbers let's say numbers and I go class E it's a it's a ch character it's a character vector and if you put E here you get this character like thing with a quotation mark now characters we're gonna make it character like now here, here's um, something important about this thing if you, if you want the first element of B what we do we could do uh, B what because uh, in square back brackets uh, we put the index the index of numbers in it and the first element of B is what uh, are unlike unlike some general programming language it has it counts from one instead of zero so the first uh, the, the first element is start with is the first elements not the zeros elements uh, if you put b0 it, it's saying numeric zero it, it doesn't make any sense here uh, but um, what it say in numeric something it's actually saying numeric vectors for example uh, I got F if I give it numeric 10 I just say uh, F then we get 10 values in F 
it's a, it is just the declaring types of this right and uh, other types of uh, there are lots of way you could generate vector sequences it doesn't matter sequence could also also be a vector type and uh, vector doesn't have to be numeric vector they could be character vector or uh, they could be boolean vectors boolean vectors or actually we should start with some boolean uh, variable here if I type t or true or type f or false here then g is gonna be true it's 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 not a it's a logical vector instead of uh, instead of character vectors uh, we you could also go mode g logical right there's just not very fancy and uh, I want to override it uh, I, it's, it's an in the previous section, I think I mentioned that it's almost equivalent to use equal sign and this sign here. Uh, for some simple reasons, uh, uh, we could use uh, equal sign most of the time, but equal sign is usually used for giving judgment. For example, I go G is true, uh, one is smaller than two. Now this probably make more sense if you go uh, and and then what is G? G is true. Now if G is one is larger than two, then this is not true. This is just false. You could just type false here, but don't uh, but don't use the quotation mark because with the quotation mark, it's uh, a character vector. Uh, or you could go G. G is a Boolean vector that states that one is equal to one, strictly equal to one. Now, what is G? True, but uh, it's uh, better to use this sign here because if I confused with the number of this equal sign or, or I wrongly put another uh, equal sign here that could be that could be some problem uh, now but anyway uh, for uh, for a vector it could be it could be boolean vectors for example I, I do what's the length of D Five. It's telling me D has five. D has five elements. Now, vectors. Now this is this is boolean variable. Okay. Now this is characters. Uh, or string and string processing it's another it's another way that um, actually we should go what is it what is a string you could you could go um, this is a string vector so what what if I just want one element of this? What if I don't want the whole sentence? You go length D and uh, D has five elements. Now the first element of D, similarly, this. And uh, you could go two, D three, uh, D 